In this video, I'll show you how to make a pattern generator yourself. So for setting up your TV, the geometry or the convergence or do all kinds of measurements, yeah, you, uh, you will need a pattern generator or color bar generator. Uh, now this video is not about building the hardware yourself with circuit boards etc. It's just a uh, explanation how to use equipment you probably already have in your house. So uh, let's first show a home computer. So if you have a home computer with a built-in basic interpreter you can easily write a program to make some colors on your screen um, so let's show you with this one it's uh, MSX So make a list of my little program. And then let's run this program. So okay. You can already see the limitation of this is you cannot fill the screen uh, is it clear vertically so you have black bars so for some things it's not real suitable for example your vertical height you cannot set it using uh, the home computer like this and let's see on the scope what how it looks Oh yeah, then I need, I need, I need to close it with a resistor. So yeah, that's my burst, first color, then black second color, third color and the flat line is white make that a little bit bigger so yeah that's, that's what this looks like the screen you just saw so now I notice the levels are not really accurate of course a real pattern generator will have all levels calibrated, your pulse sync and your white level and the frequency of the of the color. So and with this home computer is yeah, a little bit rough. The signal is a little bit rough. So as an alternative you could use uh, a DVD player. And on the DVD you have to make just a few uh, pictures to uh, burn onto. So I don't have the capture program so a little bit of flickering. Uh, I did this with paint but it's of course better to use a program with, uh, where you can fill in uh, coordinates so you can make a real accurate a symmetrical uh, picture but okay uh, just to demonstrate first 
uh, you can set the width and the height to the TV uh, resolution so 720 by, by 576 pixels and it's not really that important but the aspect ratio the ratio between the two uh, is important so okay now this this white field is is the screen and now I can make uh, my drawing and uh, I made some drawings in advance so for example uh, this one or, or this one and then when you save uh, when you choose the 24 bits bitmap you don't have any losses so then it's uh, real as sharp as it can get later on so for the colors and for ge uh, geometry I can make another pattern so I didn't find them for download so I, I, I guess you have to draw them yourself so uh, yeah okay and then you're finished uh, you open the DVD a movie maker that's built in the operating system here so and I just of course it's, it's to make a video uh, primarily but uh, now I can I can put uh, my pictures I just drag and drop them in the movie maker so and then I go to the folder okay this is what I like to burn to my DVD and then you can choose next okay now and then you then you have some options for the slideshow yeah unfortunately it only goes to 30 seconds but uh, and, and you have some fading possibilities between the pictures so that's not really so to demonstrate I put only three seconds so when you're going to burn you get this and it's it's fading so that's not really but you can pause your player and then it will stay on this uh. so when you're finished yeah you can uh, you can just uh, it, it hit the burn key and then the slideshow will be burned onto the empty DVD you insert in your computer so and this is the DVD player where this disc is currently in so let's hook the TV up to the DVD You see that the output is much stronger so that's what it looks like with the DVD player so the color bar black and white and you can see the fading color color black and white so let's plug it in the TV yeah it, it puts the folder name on top so yeah that's, that's not really ideal but I don't see it on the scope this text and now you see the whole screen is filled and it's real accurate I measured for example the the frequency in a in a, the in the PAL decoder and it was just like uh, 2 or 3 Hertz off and that may be a problem with my frequency counter so uh, yeah the, the signal is uh, of a DVD player is really more accurate than an old 
home computer. So, but of course, it's not a calibrated uh, thing like a uh, an official pattern generator. But it's it. You can do. You can do a lot with it. So yeah, to make this switching over stop, you can just press uh, pause on. Uh, How did I do that? You could no, I saw that you you could pause it. Mm. Ah, yeah. Yeah, just it was an uh, it was an example. What we just saw was not real slideshow. It was a preview of the slideshow. Yeah, yeah. Now it's taking uh, it's taking 30 seconds now before it changes. Yes. So now the the text here is gone. And now when I hit pause, the symbol, uh, yeah, this is also not ideal, but yeah, you, you hardly notice it on the scope. So yeah, now you have this screen forever. Uh, so the, the it stopped counting, so you can make your measurements. So yeah. That's a demonstration how to easily make a PAL SEGAM NTSC generator just where you the equipment that you have laying around.